Are flips illegal? We're going to talk about that on today's episode of Title Tuesdays. But first, as always, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today, we're going to talk about flips. I just got another email last week from an attorney saying that the flip transaction that we did was illegal. And I'm here to tell you today, flip transactions are not illegal. We're going to talk about what are they also known as? You hear flip transactions, you're going to hear simultaneous closings, and you're going to hear double closings. Those three terms mean someone is buying a property today and they're going to sell the property today. Now, sometimes these flip transactions are a little bit longer. They may be buying, fixing, and selling. So don't forget to subscribe below to get more topics like this on next episode of Title Tuesdays. But when we're talking about flip transactions, we want you to know that they are not illegal. This is where a buyer is going to buy a property cash and they do not have to disclose to the seller that they are going to then gonna be selling that property to another buyer. So they are perfectly legal as long as the two transactions are independent of each other, meaning closing A does not need the money from closing B in order to take the, uh, to consummate the closing and make sure that it's being taken care of, which means that the middle buyer has to come in with cash or what's called transactional funding. But these types of closings are not illegal. We do several hundreds of these every single year, and they're a very good way for somebody that does not have any money to get in, get out, and get paid very fast without having to worry about a credit check or a mortgage. So how does it work? Well, when you have a simultaneous closing, a flip or a double closing, it basically means that you as the buyer, what we would call the wholesaler in, in this transaction, would be entering a contract to purchase a property from a seller. Let's use the number $100,000. You, as the wholesaler, do not have a real estate license, which we've talked about on other episodes. So if you are not the buyer, you're not able to then work for that transaction, try and find a buyer and get paid a commission unless you were a licensed realtor here in the state. So what does that mean? You have to actually have what's called a beneficial interest in the property, which means you are buying the property at, for let's say $100,000 and then you're going to sell the property for let's say $110,000 and you will make the $10,000 less whatever customary closing costs you've had. And here's a little tip on today's video. If you get sophisticated enough, you could make the end buyer pay all closing and acquisition costs. If you put that clause in your contract, that means the end buyer has agreed to buy the property for $110,000 and pay any fees you had on closing A or closing B in order to close and acquire that property to that buyer. So you would make a net number, $10,000. So I hope you learned something new on today's episode. When you hear someone at the closing table say flips are illegal, you hear a realtor talk about flips or double closings are illegal, you can tell them to watch this video and they'll learn something new today because we pass our audit every single year and we do hundreds of double closings every single year. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like watching this video today, if you thought it was informative or maybe it taught you something that you didn't know because that's why we produce these videos. So I look forward to seeing you on next week's episode of Title Tuesdays, and I'll see you at the closing table.